everybody, it's me again. Uh, right, walking up the towpath, which I try and avoid these days, if I can help it. Uh, finished that solar job off that uh, got rained off a few weeks ago. So not much to that really, just uh, drilling and tapping the roof, which I don't like doing. But uh, in this case, that's what the customer wants, so that's what the customer gets. Uh, yeah, down at Slimbridge. This one is. A few of this year's. Very unfriendly birds. They don't hurt you if they bite you, by the way. I know that. <laughs> anyway, um, right, let's go and get this finished. I uh, don't know how much of this I'll show you, really. I'm just going to be drilling and tapping the roof, but it gives you an idea what we get up to, which is the whole point of the channel, really, I guess. Right, a little bit further. Not a bad day for it, cold, but uh, at least it's dry. That's the main thing. Here's the hazards of the job for this time of year. So if you remember, I got managed to get these drilled and tapped last time. And we're not, we're not going to use all the mounting holes, there's no need. So we're just going to put one in the middle and one at the far end. But uh, I'll be really careful on here. Um, that's a bit of a watery ending down there, and it's deep here as well. 15 foot deep in the middle on the GNS. What do you guys want? Well, I'll probably do. Do you fuss? <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> Oh, no, I'll have a tattoo, mate. All right, cheers. If you need me, I'm just doing paperwork. Give me a call. Yeah, no, well, we'll do that. Should be fine. Yeah, all right, mate. I've seen these custom panels, brackets, I should say. They're, they're very hard to fit because. To get access to the holes, you need to lift the panels up. And today, it just wants to bend and twist, so... Uh, I need to... Morning. Morning. When you make you on. Absolutely lethal up here. dangerous really I should really be waiting for this to thaw off but uh, I've got to get done it's a very watery end if you were uh... bloody cold on your knees as well
I think now. Generally, the sun here comes all the way down to where the bridge is. Uh, so the customer, because he's moored here over the winter, wants to get maximum uh, power from, oops, from oh, these two sets of solar. So these will be, ang th these angle that way. So it's that one the other way, as well. well, it can go both ways. But these will generate power, the maximum amount of power from the sun. I've just got to drill and tap another hole where the uh, that support is, just to give it that extra. He doesn't want me to put all the holes in. I don't blame him. Six, six M6s should be fine there. Then I'll get this one done again. Treacherous. I'm just a little concerned. But uh, hey ho, if I can get one done, that's a start. And the solar cable's down here somewhere. I just got to pick that up. Beautiful day, very cold on the knees. Yeah, there's the, there's the fun of working on boats in the winter, right there, roof covered in ice, treacherous, a little, little bit concerned. Got to get the job done, I'm running out of time. I've got one more set of solar to bond down and it's cold <laughs> and horrible on another boat that's my last solar job for this year uh, but yeah I've got to get them done but uh, hopefully I can do that I think I'm going to do that tomorrow or Friday for, uh, yeah whatever depends when you're watching the video I guess right let's get these tapped um, I'm not filming this too much just giving you a feeling of what it's like doing this job in the winter. Just because I don't want my camera to disappear into the cut. You've got what they go, things disappear off the roof very fast when there's ice on them, including people. But uh, yeah, I'll just get these two drilled and then I'm sort of happy with that one then. Wiring them up is a piece of cake. All the hard work's already done. So, right, let's get these drilled. Thing I'm gonna have to do is give this roof a really good wash off uh, and I've finished. Uh, it's, the, it's absolutely the worst time to be drilling a roof because it's wet. So under each rubber washer as well, there's a, a dab of CT1 just to be sure. There you go, the one's wired up on the uh, far side. You can see the idea now. Um, let's just do it back a little bit. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it's about function. Of course, they do lie flat when it's cruising. That'll be fine. But when it's moored up here, the sun, the sun at the moment's here, but it'll swing all the way around there. It'll be really low in the sky down here. So that'll just squeeze the last little bit out of it as possible. Um, and that, that one is already generating power. That's putting about th uh, about three amps in. But of course, if you look at the angle, that's going to catch the later sun. There's only, only so much you can do, really. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's what they look like. I've right, just got to connect this other one up behind me. Don't mind doing that for. Um, anyway, yep. Uh, 
We get MC fours. I've checked the voltage at the MPPT. That's all okay, and the right polarity, which is even better. So these MC fours, you probably know, uh, two different type of plugs, uh, male and a female pin. Um, the female goes with that one. Okay, and that the male one goes in there. There you go. So I, I see all sorts of crappy connections on these. Use the right tool if you're gonna do it. Gives a nice solid crimp. Uh, if you can see that, yep. So male goes into that one. And they just push in. Make sure they click. And you just tighten that lock nut up at the end. Job done. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of conduit, flexible conduit through there. Just to protect the cables a little bit. Hopefully, oh, that'll do. And I'll just do one at a time so I know that the right plug is on the right end. It's gone cloudy now. So the customer is going to have to spoke to the customer. Um, done a lot of work for Chris over the years. Uh, he's going to give the roof a good scrub down in a second when I've gone. It is supposed to drop very, very cold tonight. So the sooner he does that, probably the better. And just get rid of any of that swarf. That swarf makes hell of a mess. It, it burns into your paint. You ain't gonna shift that. But with it so wet uh, this morning, and still is, you're not gonna you're not gonna get all of it. You know, I've tried, I've tried all sorts of magnets. Yeah, that gets some some of the big bits. He don't get he don't get the uh, small stuff. When it's dry in the summer. It's no bother, no bother at all, because you, you do get, you can sweep it off. But uh, in the winter when everything's wet, it just sticks. And I will put that little bit of insulation up. Don't want that going in the cut. Little plastic bags, they'll go in my pocket. They don't, bits of, bits of insulation, they all get taken away. So that's, I want the male on this one, because that's the female. So I'm just making a pair of ex just extension cables, really, for this other panel. See, so that goes again. That goes in there. Look, you hear it click, and just tighten, tighten that down. One more, and we'll go and check what the uh, MPPT is doing. Really cloudy now, as you can see behind me. So they're not going to be generating a fat lot at the moment. Well, I've just finished that, walking down the towpath, trying to make a quick getaway. Old boy here's got no heating on his Webasto, so I'm gonna have to go and quickly look at that. That's happened sometimes. I'm trying to get my jobs finished and there's more things coming in all the time, so I can't leave him with no heat, if I can help it. He has got a log burner, but he'll obviously have no hot water and stuff. So let's have a quick look at this. So what's going on. Oh, 
right, unfortunately for that old boy, um, that heat is a, a dead end. A CPU problem or ECU problem, whichever you want to call it, um, bonded on top of the heat, uh, heat exchanger. Knackered, won't talk to me. Uh, won't, 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 well, it switches on to a point, it just puts the fan on. There we right, so that ECU's a dead end. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, so yeah, um, I hope you found that sort of interesting. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Um, if you did, give us a like. Still remember, info, uh, not info, um, <laughs> let's get it right. www.kingfisher-marine for uh, any of the Webasto, Victron, uh, all that sort of stuff. If it's not on the website, give me a shout. I'm sure I can get it for you. Uh, the shop will be open all the way through the winter period, even if I'm not working physically. Oops, that might be a bit weird for you guys. <laughs> um, you're on the steering wheel. So, um, <laughs> right, I'll say goodbye, and um, I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye, bye.